Hi guys, <clears throat> feeling a little better. Um, I wanted to come against these false visions of hell. Uh, Mary Kay Baxter, Angelica Zambrano, those three Catholic kids, Bill Weiss. Now, I believe these people are having a genuine out of body experience or vision. We know that Satan can transform himself into an angel of light. We know that his ministers can appear as ministers of righteousness. I will explain why this isn't biblical and it preaches, it comes back with a message of a works-based salvation. Now, Jesus warns us of hell. He also mentions how the rich man descended into hell and the poor man, Lazarus, was escorted by the angels to heaven. And that the rich man pleaded with God or with Abraham to allow him to come back from the dead and warn his brothers. Now, Jesus said, no, because even if someone comes back from the dead, they won't believe him, that they have the prophets. And it's true. He did come back from the dead and people don't believe him. Now, um, there is a false Christ. His name is Sananda. These, uh, I've spoken against those fallen angels that do the Galactic Federation of Light, which is Luciferian. Um, and uh, the Ashtar command, Ashtaroth was a demonic figure worshipped in the Old Testament. That these blonde haired, blue eyed fallen angels come in and preach the New Age, uh, but that uh, they also can appear. I had one woman that used to be in it that realized she was so drawn to this Christ character that she believed was really Jesus, but she got close to him and f something was wrong in her spirit. She knew it wasn't really him, but she was almost fooled by it. Now, I heard Mary Kay Baxter say she went to hell with Jesus all these nights, okay? First of all, Jesus takes no pleasure in, in the perishing of the wicked, so he wouldn't go to hell and say, too late, you had your thing, blah, 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 pointing at these suffering people in hell, okay? I heard her say, yeah, they were in hell, they were saved, but they went to hell because they were backbiters, and they were gossiping and stealing from the collection plate at church. And they lost their salvation. And there was a man in hell preaching the, the gospel. And he, he was just, look, the word of God is not present in hell. Um, these people are cursing at God and gnashing their teeth. This is, this like, I, I don't even like to study hell because it has nothing to do with me. I am saved by the grace of God the finished work of Christ, his obedience, his righteousness is imputed on me. Now, people say I tell people to live in sin and that they don't repent of sins. They don't to be saved. But once we are saved, we certainly should. It is our reasonable service and we should walk after the spirit. But until I understood it was all Jesus and put my soul in his hands and, and did stop looking at myself to see how righteous I was, that's when I saw heart change. Um, but, but, you know, Bill Weiss has demons torturing him in hell. I, I think the last place a demon wants to be is hell because it reminds them of their uh, eternal place. You know, um, they are not. And if Satan was running this deal, wouldn't he want you to think that he even has control over hell? Jesus took the keys of hell and death in the grave. They're, they're not in Satan's hands anymore. The last place he wants to be is there. Um, it's always the people in Africa that are having these hell things. They come back saying, well, it's because women are wearing pants and makeup. And Angelica uh, Zambrano says it's because they're listening to pop music. And every time they hear Selena's music, they go to hell. And Whitney Houston is in hell. You know what? That woman, she had her issues, but she trusted in the finished work of Christ. She loved her Jesus. And she had... A uh, uh, terrible, you know, it's hard in entertainment. You know, I was a producer for over 16 years in Hollywood, and uh, terrible stuff happened. I'm disabled now, but I got a new contract. I'm, I'm going to use it to glorify him, but my point is, it's tough. It's tough to live in that lifestyle. It's really wretched. And uh, But we're not saved by anything we do. It is We repent of unbelief and dead works. Uh, I'll do another video on... on these big teachers preaching the false gospel again people can't hear it they keep hearing that i'm telling people to live in sin but that's not what i'm doing i'm telling them to rely on christ alone and stop putting conditions on salvation now they always come back with some works-based gospel and 
you know, nobody's saved from that. And, and if Satan wanted to keep you from being saved, he would certainly make you worry that you're not living good enough and make you turn to yourself and look at yourself and how you fail so he can take your salvation victory and your blessed assurance, your eternal security from you. But it says once we trust in him, we are sealed by the Holy Spirit. We are in his hands. He has separated our sin as far as the east is from the west. And it's his power to make us sons of God. It's his power. It is God's power unto righteousness. It's his righteousness imputed on us. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. It's for him that worketh not, not by works of righteousness. And anyone that relies on their own righteousness is literally outside the grace of God. Grace is of none effect to them. So uh, he said there were many that come into the church and trouble you with these things. We cannot add anything to it. Now, I don't believe these people are lying. I believe they are having these experiences. But most of the time they're Catholic, which believe in a works-based salvation. And many of them say they're Protestant, but they're not because they say it's grace through faith and then add the works in. They say it's one thing, but preach another and it's crazy town. So I don't want anybody troubled by these false uh, visits of heaven and hell that tell you you have to do this and do that. And uh, they were backbiters and they lost their salvation because they were going to church and gossiping and stealing money. And you know what? These are horrible things. But we're only saved by trusting in Christ alone, what he did. It's not what we do. So don't don't allow these things to shake your if, if your soul you have put that in the hands of jesus and trusted his obedience and his righteousness to be put on your account he wore our sin so we can wear his righteousness i'm all for lordship discipleship but not lordship salvation there is no such thing as lordship salvation because if you put works in submission submitting your life uh you know to him we must just trust in what he did. Now, once we're saved, absolutely, we should listen to him and grow in him, but grow in his grace. You know, when I when I really understood the concept, these people say it's grace, but they don't even know what grace is. It's the undeserved mercy of God. It's his power to justify the ungodly. So don't let these things trouble you, okay? Bye.